Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and today I'm going to share with you my thoughts and what I've learned about aquarium lights. So please stay tuned. In caring for our aquariums, there are a few elements that are crucial to a healthy, vibrant community. Now, of course, the most important is water quality. But another important element that needs to be addressed is aquarium lighting. Proper lighting will affect the fish in different ways. With good lighting, you will be better able to see any problems and health issues with your fish. It will help to regulate your fish's eating and sleeping schedule. Your fish will show off their extraordinary color and being brighter. Bright lighting is a key element to the activity we witness within our tanks. Even the fish's overall health can be affected. Live aquarium plants won't grow and of course we won't get the benefit of our aquarium's beauty without proper lighting to show them off. Choosing the right lighting system for your aquarium is much easier when you have some facts to refer to, such as the size and the depth of your aquarium. The type of fish and plants also play a role in deciding which lighting system will suit your aquarium best. It's not quite as simple as finding the best deal or going with the cheapest. As important as your aquarium lighting is to a healthy environment for your fish, its purpose is often overlooked. It can be confusing to a beginner aquarist as there are many variables to consider, such as types, brands, sizes, and strengths. Other aspects that you need to think about are the species of fish you have and plants if you choose live ones and the overall look you're going for. The first thing you need to look at is the species of fish. Many require different types of lighting. For example, fish that are found in shallow rivers, streams, and floodplains are used to bright sunlight. Other fish may make their homes in murky, deeper waters where the light doesn't easily penetrate. After deciding on the species of fish, you are better equipped to make the right decision as to the lighting that would benefit them the most. If mixing species, you must make sure to provide darker places, rocks, caves, using plants to give them a place where they can escape the sunlight or the tank light in this case. Fish are not as dependent on light as plants are, but they still need daylight. Lights available are incandescent, fluorescent, and LED. Incandescent light has a wire within that is heated and glows, producing the light. As it produces the light, it also produces heat, which can affect your water temperature. We all know fluctuating water temperatures can be detrimental to our fish. A fluorescent light is created by an electric current in a gas that animates the mercury vapor, which in turn produces a short-wave ultraviolet light, causing the inside of the tube to glow. This light does not produce heat, but it does contain minor amounts of mercury that is poisonous, a danger if the bulb should break. And finally, LED is a little more difficult to explain, but it's the best choice in my opinion. In short, when a current is applied, electrons release energy in the form of photons. This is called electroluminescence. The colors of the lights correspond with the energy of the photons. This form of light is the cleanest looking and produces no heat, a good choice. Some plants require much more light than fish do, as their life depends on it. They use photosynthesis, meaning they use sunlight to synthesize food they absorb from within the water column. 
Plants in turn produce oxygen as a byproduct. There are low light plants and plant species that require extremely high levels of light. You must determine which plants you decide on and provide the lighting that they will need to flourish in. When to keep lights on and off depend more so on where your fish are native to. Equatorial species typically receive 12 hours of light daily throughout the year. To mimic their light needs, it's quite simple as the light schedule doesn't change. Moving north or south of the equator, the fish will need more or less light depending on the season. I don't find that difficult as our daylight hours affect us in the same way. Our days are shorter in winter and the daylight reflects that. I turn my lights on around 9 a.m. and leave them on until 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. I turn their moon lights on until I go to bed, at which time I turn all the lights off and everyone sleeps. Keeping a set schedule by using a timer is very helpful. Replicating day and night light will reduce stress and mimic natural environments. Many people believe excessive algae growth is caused by too much light. In part, that is true. However, there's a little more to it than that. Algae needs more than just light to flourish. An overabundance of nutrients in the water, together with bright light combined, make a perfect environment for algae growth. The best thing about having good bright lights on your aquarium is how well it displays your fish. Bright lights help darken the pigment in many fish, causing their colors to pop and stand out. As they acclimate to the brighter lights, you will see their colors brighten, your fish will grow quicker, and spawn more readily. The right lighting system on your aquarium is a major part of having a beautiful, healthy community to enjoy. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope your week is off to a terrific start and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.